Okay. Okay. My question is, how did you start Islamic Relief and what was the reason? Okay. Thank you.
Mosby Road office at the Kuwait Center. And after midnight, they respond to these uh, uh, problems and disasters affecting different parts of the world. After the famine in Africa, Eritrea and Tigray came after that flood in uh, Sudan, Bangladesh flood, uh, uh, earthquake in, uh, in Armenia, in Iran, earthquake in Bosnia war, and we were on our feet all the time responding to the humanitarian need of the people who needs our help most. If objectively you look at the need, you'll be able to address it. But if you look at yourself as a leader, or you look at your group as the best group, or look at your organization, make it the best organization, you might or might not achieve that. And this will be short lived. You need to look objectively at why your organization has been created for. If it's a material organization, respond to a material need, that's a, this is the objective. Keep addressing it. If it's the sports, keep addressing the sports. If it's education, keep addressing the education. If it's agriculture, keep addressing the Put the aim and the need, I put, put, put the need as a driving factor. Okay? And keep looking at your objective all the time and don't look at yourself in the mirror. Say, look at yourself saying, I'm the best. Or I'm the most, the strongest political party or the largest Islamic Jama'a. All this is a waste of time. Short lived. Because in the future, other political party will take over, or other jama'a will take over, or other leader will take over. But the only people who can survive are the people who address the needs of the people. They will be remembered when they are alive, and they will be remembered after they die. And this is the message, the prophetical message of all the prophets and this is the message of the messengers of Allah all of them. Okay?